Morning Tai Chi River, stand up, put your heels together, and let's do Tai Chi together. I'd like to refer you to the video segment on safety first. Notice the chair if we have any balance issues. And the other video segment on Tai Chi principles. Keep your knees always bent. The head suspending from above and the deep breathing continuously. We're going to do the eight pieces of brocade this morning. Put your hands together, the thumbs touch, the knees stay slightly bent. The palms push to the sky, turn over to the sky, push to the sky with a super deep inhale. Exhale, sink the knees, sink the hips, turn the palms back over, relax. Inhale, upward expanding, growing. Exhale, sinking, contracting and closing. This first exercise is for your lungs. So pay attention to the deep breathing and to the health of your lungs. Relax, relax, relax. Especially the shoulders, they have a tendency to want to push up. Keep the shoulders sunk and relax. Inhale, expand up and grow. Don't lock the knees. Exhale, sink and contract and close. Inhale, fill the lungs, stretch the rib cage outward and upward like an umbrella around the spine. Now with each one of our eight exercises, I like to play around. I like to experiment. Everybody's body is different, and so take a moment and stretch. Not too much, nothing that hurts. Remember the principle about 70% of our range of motion. But just experiment and find the range of motion for your spine. And back. The second exercise looks like we're touching our toes, but we're stretching our spine. Keep the knees slightly bent. Let the head sink, stretch the neck. <clears throat> Continue down as far as you're comfortable, stretching all 33 vertebrae in the spine. Exhaling, going down. Inhale, as we come up, we tuck the tailbone, build the spine, and the head suspends, and then we sink the whole body. Inhale. Prepare and exhale, sink, stretch the spine outward and downward. Inhale, coming up, build the spine like a skyscraper, the head, the penthouse at the top, and then we sink into the basement. Inhale and exhale. Feel all 33 of your vertebrae pulling apart from each other. <clears throat> this exercise helps the disc space between the vertebrae. <clears throat> each of the discs get to breathe, they get more space. They have less strain and pressure from the spine above. Exhale as we sink. <clears throat> Inhale as we expand upward, building the skyscraper perfectly straight with gravity. Sink. Relax. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. Stretch the spine, all 33 vertebrae pulling apart from their neighbors, opening the back. Building. The head suspends from above and we sink. Exhale down.
exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling down. Remember to keep the knees slightly bent the whole time. <clears throat> okay, and on this one we like to experiment. If you have any dizziness issues, please don't do this one, but we just hang down for about 20 seconds. And we let gravity pull our body downward but don't fight against gravity. Go with gravity, letting the shoulders sink and pull the arms longer. Feel the tendons, the ligaments, the fascia in your body relaxing, letting go and growing larger. The bones pull apart, gravity pulling you downward. Inhale, coming back up. Build the spine, head suspends, we sink and clear. Number three, put your left hand on the inside of your right hand. I will be going mirror image with you. Your left hand turns over and pushes up and holds the sky. Your right hand turns over and presses down the earth. Inhale. The palms turn back. We sink the knees as the hands trade, inhaling, expanding, growing, exhale, sinking, contracting, closing. This one's for your liver and your digestive tract. Inhale, relax, relax, relax. Exhale, sink. Relax. The palms turn back to the chest. The palms turn away, squeezing the forearm. The palms turn back to the chest, relaxing. The palms turn away, squeezing the forearm in the opposite direction. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Relax the shoulders. Sink the shoulders. They have a tendency to push, but we have to keep them down and relax. That's why you have a pain in the neck, is because your neck and shoulders are constantly tensed, holding your skull up over the spine. When we learn proper posture, when we follow the principles, the muscles can relax because the bones line up properly. And here we're going to stretch a little bit and experiment and play around with your body. Your body is the laboratory. You're the scientist. The hypothesis is I can move in this direction and it doesn't hurt my body. Let me try it on the other side. <clears throat> Stretch and experiment. Feel the connection between the wrist and the hip all the way up and down the body here. Maybe if you pull backwards, you'll feel a very different stretch. And if you turn the wrists, it feels good. Number four is for your brain. It's a fairly simple exercise, but very powerful. First of all, everybody smile. Don't take it so seriously. Relax. Tai Chi is supposed to be fun and feel good. We look over the left shoulder, twisting and stretching the neck. We exhale as we come back to the middle. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Exhale. And with each turn of the neck, we loosen and soften, relaxing the muscles. As the muscles relax, the blood vessels can expand and more blood can flow through them into your brain. 
Remember the deep, deep breathing, pushing the belly out, stretching the rib cage. And with each deep breath, we super oxygenate the blood that goes to the brain, waking up the brain, giving it more nutrients, more oxygen, more power. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, with this neck one, I like to do a lot of different exercises <clears throat> because the neck is a very intricate part of our body. So here, let the shoulder and the hip go and gently twist the spine and look behind you. Come back to the middle, look over your shoulder, let the shoulder and hip go and gently look behind. Then we look up into the left corner and down to the right corner and feel the variation on the neck. You have seven different bones in your neck, each one of them separated by a disc. With your skull, that makes 15 different moving parts on this exercise. Relax, relax, relax. Now look up to the right corner and down to the left corner. And the first thing I want you to notice is the difference between one side and the other side. All of us tend to have a better side. One side of our neck and shoulder and body that's more comfortable and the other that might hurt just a little bit more. We have to learn and experiment and understand our range of motion. All right, let's make some circles with the neck. Clockwise, loosening, softening, relaxing all the muscles, ligaments, tendons, fascia, soft tissue in the neck and shoulders. If you have a little bit of vertigo, this exercise might trigger it. So make sure to have your chair nearby in case you have any safety issues. You go back the opposite direction, relaxing, softening, and noticing the difference between one side of your neck and the other. One side is usually more comfortable. The deep breathing continues. Push the belly out with each inhale. Spread the rib cage with each inhale. The oxygen rushing into the blood of the lungs. All right, so as the neck starts to loosen, we notice how tight the shoulders are. So this is not actually part of the eight pieces of brocade, but it just feels so good. We gotta do a couple of shoulder rolls. We're never gonna loosen and relax the neck if we don't loosen and relax the shoulders as well. And back the other direction. Notice the pumping of the knees, creating the motion in the shoulders. The shoulders don't move independently. We move with full body integration in Tai Chi. The motion roots in the foot as we push against the earth. The motion develops in the legs as we push up. The waist is the commander telling the body where to go. And in this case, the shoulders make rolling motions like waves at the beach. Let's play around a little bit. Experiment. Two shoulders, one neck. Take it easy, go generally pretty slow. But if it feels good, do it a little bit more. If it hurts, don't do it at all. Relax and experiment, relax and stretch. Ah, we feeling okay, class? Good. All right. So for number five, we step out into our horse stance. We keep our knees bent and our feet perfectly straight. If you have lines on your floor or the carpet, note how you can line your feet up. Keep the tailbone tucked underneath and we grab a big Tai Chi beach ball in front of us. Here we need to remember a few principles, sinking the heavy elbows, relaxing 
the shoulders. Okay, to your left we look, and then both hands go to the left. We point the finger to the ceiling, creating a stretch in the wrist, pulling the bow across the chest. We take a super deep inhale, and we exhale, come back and hold the big Tai Chi beach ball. Opposite direction, both hands and look, point to the ceiling, pull the bow across the chest, big deep inhale. Exhale, back to the middle. Slow it down. Thicken it up. They call Tai Chi dry land swimming. So like you feel the water against your skin in the swimming pool, Feel the air against your skin as you do these exercises. Push the air out of the way like you would push the water out of the way. Feel the stretching in both wrists build up and then release as we come back to the middle. The super deep inhales continue, filling the lungs, stretching the rib cage, bringing in as much oxygen as you can with each breath. Relax, relax, relax. Don't take it so seriously. Have fun with it. Don't worry about getting it correct or perfect. You never will. So just enjoy what you're doing. And try to do the best job you can. One more on each side. Nice and slow. The slower the better. Feel the stretching wrists and the releasing energy. So number six is the one with the most health benefits. This one is said to improve all your internal organs and all your internal systems on one shot. It's pretty easy too. The head comes up around and back. We look up at the sky as we inhale. The head comes down around and forward as we exhale. Look through your legs. Back the opposite direction. Up around and back. Inhale. Down, around, and forward, exhaling. Fill the lungs, stretch the rib cage, pressurize the body cavity. Push the organs together into a smaller space as the lungs fill. Feel the organs rubbing up against each other, creating an internal healthful massage. We also have almost all of our lymph nodes in our neck, our spine, and our groin. So with every turn, we push the lymph, that dirty, swampy water in our body, closer and closer to the heart where it can be recycled. Inhale, up, around, and back. Look at the sky. Exhale, down, around, and forward. Look through your legs. You have 33 bones in your spine, and each one of them is making its own independent circle during this exercise. Pay attention to all of them. So our variation for this exercise is simple. We just let the arms hang and we keep doing the same exercise. And as the arms hang, the extra 20 pounds or so of your arms pulls the spine forward and downward, creating a different angle as you interact with gravity. Slowly, gently, we learn about our spine and we massage our internal organs.
Feels pretty good, huh? Okay, number seven is called Bounce on Our Toes Seven Times. We're told to do this one 49 times for youthfulness and longevity. Now, for many of you who have seen some wobbling in classes, we might want to have our chair nearby to protect ourselves and to be safe. We come up onto the toes, and then we drop the heels, and we feel a vibration all the way to the top of the skull. At the same time, we bring the hands up, and we flick peanut butter off our fingertips. Okay? 49 times together for youthfulness and longevity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <clears throat> the last one, number eight, we're going to squat down on the second part of this. So everybody protect your lower back. We keep our tailbone tucked underneath and our head up. So we do not squat like this. We squat straight up and down. We inhale up and back, stretching the spine outward. Exhale, sink and squat. Inhale, scoop and up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch the spine backwards and outward and upward, sinking. Keep the tailbone underneath you, scoop and relax. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Two more. Thanks for coming, Tai Chi River. Have a great day. See you soon.